Hi Aquarius, this is Born with a Veil. And this is your reading for October the 6th to December the 31st. And let's see what's going on. I ask the angels now. Angels, bless this card reading Principalities and Thrones and Cherubs. St. Michael, Uriel, Gabriel, and Raphael. And let Aquarius know what they need to know in the universe. Thank you. So, Aquarius, you have a hopeful outlook. I know it's been down lately, but you do have a hopeful outlook, uh, favorable expectations. You have new people coming into your life, and somebody from the past is going to return. An old friend, a reunion, an old lover. Uh, you're going to reconcile. Um, so expect that between October, November, and December. Expect that to come in. Someone, it could be an old lover, it could be an old flame, it could be an ex-person you were married to or you're still married to, but they're going to try to come back again or you're going to want to get back with them. Okay? Yep, because you got the lover's card. Yep, beginning of a romance or friendship, you still have deep feelings there. There's somebody Aquarius that you cannot let go, male or female. Yep, and there's freedom of emotion and you do want to marry this person. So, but one thing, Aquarius, that you have to do, you have to let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So, you're going to have to stop your controlling. Aquarius, you got that real, real bad. Stop your controlling. And your codependency. Maybe some of you are drinking too much, uh, marijuana pills. It could be codependency, whatever. You could codependent on your mate too much to expect them. If you have children and maybe you're married to somebody or you're going with somebody or an old flame is coming back that don't have any kids, don't expect them to take full, you know, custody of your children when they're not their children. They don't mind helping out, but you can't force somebody to take full responsibility for your children, and that's vice versa too. You got to pay attention to the red flags, Aquarius. I will say that your relationships do not last that long. Um, they don't. You're lucky if they do. Um, after three months, you're already tired. So you got to be better at relationships, okay? The person that you're reuniting with is probably the one for you. Uh, you can't seem to get them out of your head, out of your mind. It could be a Tor Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra. It could be any sign. Gemini. It could be any sign. But there's somebody that you really, really love and you cannot, and I repeat, cannot get rid of them out of your mind and out of your life. Now, unrequited love. There is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I feel like the reason why you guys broke up before, it wasn't about really the chemistry or the attraction because it was there um unrequited love i do feel that you love this person very much i just feel it was your ways aquarius of the control issues um of being dominant some of you and it could have been your partner too you guys got to watch out for that okay if it's your way it's no way you can't do that if you don't do what i say get out you can't do that you gotta stop that Getting to know each other. I believe that there's two people that are going to try to come back to you um, or you're interested in two. Um, you might be in love with both of them or like both of them, but you're trying to make a decision. You, it could be that you're married and that you haven't filed for divorce yet. You're still married and then there's an old lover that you want to reunite with. It could be anything. Uh, you do deserve love and I call, I call you deserve love is a earth sign and cancer so you're either going to reconcile Aquarius with a uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn or Cancer Scorpio Pisces and you're waiting to shoot that arrow off into their heart you want them back desperately and you've attempted several times maybe before but it just didn't work out you're going to have to be more um, assertive but in a loving way Aquarius and not so controlling um, have heart to heart conversations with them Aquarius Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Meet them in person. Some of you talk over the phone. Meet them in person. Sit down and talk with them. Let them know how you feel. You got some healing. You got some healing to do, Aquarius, with your children or child. 
but family issues there's a lot of family issues going on and you need to heal with your children or child and the person that you do want back is your soulmate it's one of your soulmates so what are you going to do about it i can't go get them for you so what are you going to do so you got to work your magic now the king of cups you stand out in their life too um you're a very professional person. You are a very considerate person, very generous person, Aquarius, I must say, especially a man. Uh, men Aquarius are very gift-giving, very sweethearts, very much a sweetheart. So are the women. Okay? The magician. You could get any woman or any man that you want because you're a good salesman. I'm telling them like it is, Aquarius. I'm not bullshitting. I'm serious. You got the Nine of Swords upside down. Uh, there is some suspicion and doubt when you want to come go back to this person um, because of the way things had turned out before. Because like I say, Aquarius, you are controlling. You're controlling, and you know it. And they're kind of timid. They're kind of shady about it. They have a reasonable fear because when you get mad, you put somebody out, and you know you have somebody move in, and say you're married, and then you're with this lover, and then you say, okay, my wife or husband wants to come back, and this person has to leave. So, um, you know, you can't, you can't do that. You cannot do that. And then um, you got the falling tower. Some of you are married in an unhappy marriage, but you're not together, and some of, the, some of you are. It's not going to change. It's not going to change between you. It's going to stay the same. And then you got the Nine of Cups. You get, you guys make good money. Your health is, is good. There might be a little something going on there, but your health is good. Your money is uh, coming in. But Aquarius have a lot of difficulties. It's because of your attitude for once. It is. It's your attitude. It's your way of thinking. Some of you got a lot of women. Some of you got a lot of men. And it's like a revolving door. People just come and go. Um, you got the Eight of Wands. There's going to be a lot of hasty made decisions. That's what I'm saying about Aquarius. You make hasty made decisions like of a drop of a hat, you know, and that other person does not like that. They don't like it. And there she stands out in your life, the one that you want to get back with, especially a man with a woman. You know, she's very loving. She's, she's very meaningful. She's very sincere, but she's scared because she don't know how you're going to act. And Aquarius, if I have a sword, you're just tired. You're weak and you're tired. You're giving up because you've tried so many times to get back with her or him and you're tired. You don't know what it is to do, but you guys have to sit down and have a heart-to-heart -heart talk. That's what you need to do. And then some of you do have a child. you got to watch this child because this child likes to interfere in your relationships. Uh, you might treat this child as that they're grown and put them in your relationships. You don't put children into your relationships. You don't do that. Look at this, the Two of Cups, beginning or renewed. You guys are going to get back together again from this person from your past. You're going to reunite because there's still love there. Here she is. You son of a bitch. Queen of Cups. There she is. And some of she's psychic. And you know that she is. She's very, she's very got a warm heart. She's adored. Um, and then the Aquarius man, which is a six of coins. Very gift giving. Very giving. You'll give the shirt off your back to her. You guys need to get back in touch with each other. Uh, the Ace of Coins. You can have all the prosperity you want, but you're not happy. You can have all the material things you want, but you're not happy because you don't have her. And Aquarius spends a lot of money on their partner. Um, you got the Death card. So you're, you're clearing a way to make way for the new. So say that you just, your wife or husband left you. And there's somebody from your past you're thinking of. You're trying to clear away all that bullshit out. So you can start anew with the person that you really love. See, you're turning your back. You are definitely turning your back on someone that was in your life to go further, to get back with this person. Okay? Yep, because you got the devil, divorce. So some of you are married, um, and maybe that person left, or you asked them to leave, or and you want to get back to this person. I'm telling you. Here you stand out. The king of wands. Some of you are father persons. Some of you are married, still married, and you want a divorce. You don't want to be in it no more. And they got seven of swords. Some of you are like the hermit card. Some of you are in hiding. Some of you are really not dating. Some of you are just kind of staying to yourself because you're not happy. You got the seven of coins. 
you got successful dealings with money. Some of you got two and three jobs. You know, you got the money that you need. And then there is the fool. Don't make that bad decision. Okay? Don't make that bad decision. Um, then you got the page of wands reversed. See, indecision about proceeding. You're afraid to get in contact with this person, but you should because they still care about you. It's just going to take a little bit of extra time, a little bit of energy to go with, you know. Um, then you got the three of coins. I say if you love this person from the past, then just go if your heart is there because it feels like they were a part of you, like you can't function without them because you really do care about them. You're stacking your money also uh, with the three of coins, six of swords. Yeah, this person that you're with is a stalemate. Whether you're, say if you're married, and like I say, they left and you got the house or they got the house and you're separated. If you're not happy, then you go, you should go ahead and file for a divorce um, and give it this person. I say give it this person that you truly love because it seemed like your heart's in it, your spirit's in it. You want to recover what is lost. And you're changing residency too, Aquarius. You're moving. Um, you got the two of swords. There was a lot of lies in this relationship, whoever you just broke up with or want to break up, but the sun is coming out. The sun is coming out. You're going to marry again. You are going to marry again. Uh, you got the two of coins. Um, there's a lot of change going to be happening, a lot of concern, a lot of worries, but you got to face it. Then you got the six of cups. You're thinking about the past a lot with this person that you want to get back with. Uh, the Hierophant. You're coming into your own ideas. You're very kind, Aquarius. You're very compassionate, you know. Um, then you got the Four of Wands. Um, you feel like you're, you're full of tranquility, but there's no romance there. There's just there's no romance there because you're not with the person that you want to be with. Five of Wands. Um, some of you have been fighting in this marriage or this relationship, and you're just sick of the shit. Some of you feel like you're in jail in this relationship. Then you got the Queen of Coins. Um, there's a lot of suspicion. Neither one of you trust each other. Um, then you got the Eight of Swords. Difficult, hard times. Um, and then you got someone's lazy within this relationship, too, that, you, that wasn't liked about being lazy. Ten of Wands. You got overburdened feelings, a lot of pressure if you were married to this person. Or in the relationship, violent temper. Somebody's been cheating in this marriage or relationship. But, you know, you steady tried to offer. You tried to offer whoever you were with, whoever you were married to. You still tried to offer that loyalty with them. It wasn't good enough. And you don't feel like fighting over somebody else because I feel like your mate was cheating. You got the Four of Cups. You're leaving him or her. You're not doing it anymore. You're so fucking unhappy. And then you got the uh, Three of Cups. You didn't feel appreciated either. But then somebody, you know, Aquarius is good in bed. So, you know, um, they like that sex from you. They follow behind you because they always want to have sex with Aquarius. And then the Eight of Cups. Um, I feel like you're going to have good holidays if you get back with this person, Aquarius. I really do. I feel like your holidays are going to be good. You just got to keep trying. And the person that you were married to, especially if it's a woman, she's full of pain with you. Grief and sorrow. And then the moon. There's a lot of trickery with your mate that you were married to or living in this relationship with double dealing. Um, I feel like somebody brought other men or women into the house while you were at work. Um, and they were cheating on you. Um, I do feel the justice card was unfair. There was some abuse in this relationship or marriage. Uh, the four of coins now acquires your stock and your money in the last card. Um, is the ten of coins you want um, there is some family matters going on but you, you know you're making that money and right now you care about your family your safety your security okay and I, let me do them a couple more for Aquarius two of wands you're very sad at this time Aquarius um, and then you got the three of swords yeah you've cried some I don't care if you're man or woman you're unhappy you're separated from this from that person that caused you grief, some of you. Some of you are separated, some of you are still going on. Seven of Cups. You're going to come to a resolution. Adios, amigos. Um, there is going to be an ultimate good change. 
See, the person that you're dealing with, a lot of pettiness, rage, comeback, family quarrels. Um, but then the Ace of Wands, your last card, you're coming into a meaningful experience. Um, start of an undertaking. Uh, some of you might have a baby on the way or whoever that this ex is that you want to reconcile with. You could get them pregnant. So this is Born With A Veil. If you'd like a reading, please call me 313-401-3707. Please text me because I do work. But um, good luck, Aquarius. Like I say, this is from October the 6th to December 31st. And good luck if you're, reuni you're reuniting with someone from your past. I think it will work. God bless.